tiga The oldest and most beautiful city in the province of Central Java holds so much beauty and diversity in it. The small town with the nickname City of Harmony is certainly an interesting destination for us to explore all kinds of things in it. Therefore, today we will invite you to be able to directly explore the beauty of the city of Salatiga. Starting from our first tourist destination, namely Alun-Alun Kota Salatiga or Salatiga City Square. Salatiga City Square is one of the tourist attractions located in Kali Cacing Village, Salatiga Urgency, Central Java Province, Indonesia. This place is a very beautiful and can give a different sensation to our daily activities. The location, which was previously the Pancasila Square, can now be enjoyed by the public to take photos or take a walk with the family. In addition to the landmark or city marker that reads Pancasila, there is also a monument and jogging track at the location. Matisse Square, this place also remind visitors about the three heroes who came from Salatiga. Salatiga City Square has a charm of beauty that is a very interesting to visit. It is a pity if you are in the city of Salatiga not to visit the city park tour which has a beauty that is second to none. What are you waiting for? Don't miss this beautiful place if you are visiting Central Java. In Salatiga City Square, you can also enjoy a variety of culinary or snacks scattered around the square with a variety of affordable prices. Without a doubt, enjoying the beautiful atmosphere, looking at the green grass while relaxing accompanied by a snake is something that many people like to rest their body and mind. Founded 40 years ago, Kali Taman has become a favorite recreation place for the Salatiga community and outsiders. The beauty around Kali Taman, there is no doubt. The shady trees and the cool weather can certainly spoil the visitors. Uniquely, in contrast to beds in general, pool water owned by Kali Taman is sourced directly from natural springs that fill the pool in just one night. On the other hand, there are also various culinary delights in the Kalitaman area which are provided for visitors. You only need to spend 4,000 rupiah and can enjoy a swimming pool recreation from Spain. tourist attraction is Pohon Pengantin. This tree grows alone on a rice field embankment located on Jalan Siranda, Pulutan, Salatiga City. The tree is unique. The bottom of the trunk seems to form a natural seed because of the growth process. So why is it called Pohon Pengantin? According to a circulating myth, this tree is the incarnation of a bride and groom. There are used to be two trees at that location, but unfortunately, one of them had been cut down a long time ago. From a myth turned into a belief in society. Believe it or not, Pohon Pengantin, often called as the tree of love, can connect a romantic relationship to a long-lasting relationship. Religious tourism is still a favorite place to visit. If you are in Salatiga City, a religious tourism place you must visit is Gustur's and Central Grave. Who doesn't know Mr. Abdurrahman Wahid or known as Mr. Gustur, the fourth Indonesian president? Unexpectedly, Gustur's and Central Grave is located in Tingkilor, Salatiga City. It has been known since the 2000s when Gustur's family went on pilgrimage. 
Then in 2003, Gus Dur also went on pilgrimage. He was accompanied by As Hikam. The local authorities suspected that it wasn't just any tomb, so they looked for some information about the grave pedigree, and it was true. This is the grave of Abdul Wahid, the uncentral son of Gus Dur. The tomb of Kaha Abdul Wahid still uses tombstones, namely using temple stones. It is located in a beautiful dome and large trees seem to overshadow the tomb of Kaha Abdul Wahid. After being tired of exploring the beautiful city of Salatiga, don't forget to charge for other activities. Tumpang Koyor could be one of the choices. The typical food of one of the three famous historical relics has a distinctive appearance and taste. It is mandatory to serve as a meal when visiting Salatiga. The last destination that can be visited is the Kampung Singkong or Kasapa village. The cultural heritage from the Hindu to the colonial era influenced the growth of gastronomy in Salatiga, one of which was in this Kasapa village. You can see the processing of various types of proceed Kasapa in various shops that stand here. Besides enjoying processed cassava directly, some preparations are suitable to be used as gifts for relatives after returning from Salatiga. <music> Beauty of nature is not a temporary sedative, but also the soul's fulfillment of serenity from the hostile and bustle of human activities. Setting aside time to reach pleasure is not just a goal to look forward to when the soul longs for peace and a mind that needs freshness, but a time to return whose beauty is like home. Welcome to Salatiga. Salatiga